Here at the City of Unley, we believe that ageing is a celebration. Our people are living longer and healthier, and we all have a role to play in helping our people to get the most out of their lives. We've partnered with Rest Haven, and together, we're on a mission to challenge society's stereotypes about what it means to age. As part of a project called Unley Legends, we interviewed some of our most inspiring residents, and we'd like to share with you their stories. I'm Owen Penner, I'm 88, I live here in an independent living unit at Rest Haven, been here for 12 years, uh, looking after myself, still manage to get three meals a day. I've served as a chaplain for Rest Haven for 10 years. In retirement, I assisted a chaplain for three years before coming here. I've got the set of keys because I'm handy, <laughs> just across the road. When people forget their key, they come to me. We are beginning some uh, small groups shortly. If they need someone to lead a group, I'll lead a group. Christ sort of said, I will be with you. So we are not on our own. And this awareness of being not on your own when you're facing difficulties is a, a very real uh, uh, strength. Uh, I like to help people. It gives you a lot of uh, pleasure. But besides that, uh, it takes you out of, uh, out of yourself. I think we're all better if we're doing something, however small, for someone else. And so maybe it might be sit down and just chat with someone, or it uh, may be uh, pushing their wheelchair for them. Things like that you, uh, you can do in places such as Rest Haven. There are plenty of people around that you can do that with. You forget yourself when you're doing something for someone else. And that's a good thing for anyone. Best part of growing older is, uh, is to keep active, as, as active as you can. Uh, you can't always do it, but keep active and uh, find ways of being helpful to uh, other, other older people. There are plenty of them around and, and we, get the, we, we get the reward as much as they do. When I help people, I feel sometimes good. Sometimes I think, oh, I probably didn't do that very well. Uh, but uh, most of the time, there is satisfaction in doing something for someone else and doing it well. And I think we, we miss a lot of uh, satisfaction in life by, by really not putting ourselves out in order to uh, just simply help someone else. My name is June Harris. I'm 90 years old. Uh, I quite enjoy my life. I'm trying to pack in as much as I possibly can in the next 10 years, because I do intend to be, live to my century. There's, there's three activities, keep fit, walking, and um, line dancing. And they, they are three things that I really love to do. When I first arrived in Australia, actually, I was 78, so really I had to sort of make friends. And a good way to make friends is to join groups. The Keep Fit was quite near to where I was, and I knew about the walking group for when I used to come and visit Australia. Uh, my daughter lived at Torrance Park. I heard about the line dancing. Uh, I found a, a line dancing group that was quite near and I used to do line dancing in the UK, so I joined that and uh, I love it. I, I love the line dancing. Uh, there's one or two things I would like to do. Skydiving, uh, which my family object to. Uh, go up in a hot air balloon, which I think they might tolerate. Uh, I want to go to, on the top of the glacier in New Zealand. I don't think I'd uh, come down on skis. I think that might be a bit much, actually. I was in the um, council offices and I was looking at the leaflets and there was lots of leaflets seemed to be wanting volunteers to do visiting or to help people with um, shopping and such like. 
and I, I thought, oh, I could do that visiting. I'm Irene Miller. I'm Marty, nearly 95. I've lived here nearly all my life. We have some very nice afternoons, doing a few craft jobs and mainly a lot of talking. I, th I think we, because of the, we are the same generation, more or less, and we've lived through similar things. For all, I lived through them in, in England, and she lived them through them in Australia. Yeah, June and I just seemed to uh, click, you know, from the very mm. first day she came. Mm. It was uh, very good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. My name's Peter Moores, uh, retired some years ago. Now we're doing three days a week uh, here in the uh, men's shed. This place started off nearly 35 years ago, so it must make it one of the first men's sheds uh, in Australia. This was known as simply as Toys, which stood for Together Offering Your Skills. Most of the timber we use here is second hand. We're reusing it, it's stuff that we may have picked up down the street on the side of the road or um, occasionally people call in here at the shed and say I've got this, we don't need it anymore, can you use it? Yep. The one thing that was told to me in the first morning by Shirley, one of our members who retired uh, last year at the age of 93 I might add, Shirley said this bench here is the most important tool we've got in this place. I said, oh, why is that? She said, because this is what we sit around and discuss the world's problems and solve the world's problems each day. Oh, very good. The active mind, I think the interplay between people helps no end there. You, you get to hear what other people are thinking about. You can, you can join the conversation and what have you, and that's the sort of thing that keeps your mind active. As you age, it's important to uh, keep the mind active and keep the body active as well if you can. I mean, there's, there's that saying that's been uh, put down for many years, so um, if you don't use it, you lose it. The life experiences you gain, and you've already gained by the time you get old, can stand you in terrific stead for the rest of your life. Enjoy life. Don't think that you can come back later on and do things, because uh, quite often you can't. Get in there and enjoy it while you can. Enjoying thing with friends and acquaintances is uh, one of the best ways of enjoying life, I think. My name is Noreen Bray. I'm 93 and I've been a resident at Melbourne Rest Haven for just over 18 months. I used to be a librarian, so when I came here I volunteered to help the lady who comes in as a volunteer. It makes her job a little bit easier if I can do things during the week, like uh, uh, putting away returns and keeping the shelves in order and so on. I walk every day because that's an important part of my life and important to keep active. And I enjoy it. I enjoy walking because I need the activity, but I also like to look at people's gardens and building going on around the area and meeting people as I walk along. Sometimes we just say hello, sometimes stop and have interesting little chats. Well, I think it's important to look after your appearance. I always enjoy going to the salon here to meet the lovely lady who looks after us. Denise, who does a wonderful job and makes everybody feel special. Another thing I enjoy is uh, singing in a choir, something I've done m most of my life. But at present I'm singing with the ARPA Choir, that's the Australian Retired Persons Association. And uh, we practice every week and also uh, entertain uh, people in facilities such as this. Like we give about 20 concerts a year and that's, that's a great joy. Performing with the choir makes me feel as though I'm doing something for myself and also doing something for other people. As, as you get older, I think uh, you need to uh, remain active, both physically, mentally and, and spiritually, so that you can live life to the full. My 
My name is Harold Douglas Samuels, born 1917. That makes me 100 years old this year. My wife, Joy, and I were married for 72 years. We travelled extensively at home in Australia and overseas. And as she asked on her dying bed that I should continue, so I have done or am doing her wishes. One of my most favourite places was Colombo, part of Sri Lanka, where we viewed the elephants at play and it was absolutely a wonderful sightseeing episode and it'll always remain constant in my mind as one of the best scenes wherever we have been all over the world. I've visited so many countries, it's difficult to count them in by number, but uh, I'll still continue going to whatever country I can get to by cruising these days. When I travel, I feel as if I am at the top of the tree because I have one thought in mind, to see as much as I can and take in all the enjoyment one has of the changing scenery and whatever is offered on board ships. Well, I love to travel because it gets me out of the house. When I board the ship, I have no further responsibilities of doing housework, meals, anything associated. I leave all that behind and make the most of my enjoyment in doing these cruises. Travelling keeps me young and active and with my two daughters and their families gives me that spark of life that I enjoy so much. My name is Evaristo Barrera. I originally came from Mexico. I'm 73 years old and I love life. Every morning I make an effort to do a bit of exercise. I tend to do maybe two hours every day. I also look after what I eat. I, I tend to focus on healthy food. I love cooking because it reminds me of uh, my past, my Mexicanity, my grandmother taught me how to cook. And because I feel making people happy in their bellies, you feel happy in the whole body. I uh, started yoga when I was 30. Yoga makes me complete. It is a way of living. It's involved with every moment. And although I'm not aware of it, it's there because I have done it for a long time. I have practiced yoga for over 40 years and I've been teaching for 30 years. When I teach people yoga, I feel a connection with people. And uh, through that, I feel they are getting a benefit because I have done it and so everybody can do it. When I do yoga, I have all these feelings because some postures evoke emotions. So it is a whole range of emotions that you express through yoga, and that's what I love it. Well, I'm very blessed uh, to have eight grandchildren, and uh, I do some babysitting uh, twice a week, and I love them because they love cooking, they love doing the yoga, they love playing soccer, and we do whatever we want to do, and that's fantastic. But I do love them because they are a reflection of my family and, and me too. I think I have lived my life according to myself and I'm happy with that. I'm satisfied. And from now on, every year is a bonus. And I'm going to enjoy it as much as I can.